Hello there YouTube and welcome back to War Thunder. Today I'm going to be taking out the M60A1 Rise. Now this isn't to be confused with the M60 AOS because that's that one. Now obviously it is for all intensive purposes the same tank. However the Rise has two different modifications for it. And that is the ERA and the APFS DS shells. But we're going to have a look at the ERA first. Explosive Reactive Armor guys. Remember that because I keep forgetting it or getting muddled up with it um, so we have a thickness of 50 millimeters an effective thickness of 97.7 as you know that all depends on sloping or angling and where abats it is placed so it's not bad it will protect us from um, heat and shells like that now you get a real sense of it in the x-ray so Kinetic energy, which translates to the APDS, APFSDS shells, um, will obviously just pass straight through this stuff and go into the tank. Where this really shines through is if people are shooting heat FS or HESH or firing missiles. But that is only up to an effective thickness of 370. Anything above that, may be able to penetrate i don't know i'm really unsure of the actual sort of mechanic behind it it says 370 there's shells out there that can pen way more than that i'm not sure if they go through or not i might jump into a test drive with the germans or um, the russians and just see how that goes but for now i'm going to quickly switch to the modifications and go over the shells so we have a APDS shell won't be using that. Hesh won't be using that. Probably throw in some heat FS, but not many. Probably limit it to about five or ten. But I am going to be using is the APFSDS shells, only because they've got a higher trajectory. They're a lot faster, and they're not as obviously as devastating as the heat, but where we will be facing tanks that have composite armor that doesn't care for composite armor it will just go straight through so before i jump into any gameplay i'm going to quickly switch to the russians and hopefully take uh yeah there we go i'm gonna jump into a test drive and shoot some heat fs at the m60 rise just to see what happens hang on let's just check the pen 480 so that should should go through it just have to see i'm not convinced that it will go through it but i want to see if it does go through it okay there's the m60 rise let's push forward a tad here we that is a lot of bands uh reckon about that Okay, so it kind of dissolved it. Let's go a bit lower. Try and get that lower glacis when it reloads. Okay, it kind of dissolves, but it still set the tank on fire. Try another shot for the turret quickly. Ah, oh, it went straight through the turret ring. But you see what it does there. It kind of just breaks it apart. So guys, I'm going to jump into some gameplay and hope you enjoy Hmm. There's always one or two that come down in. Let's just see. There's one. It's so predictable. They always do the same thing. Always do the same thing. I'm not sure why, but they do. Ah! Oh, God damn the reload. God damn a reload, I'm going to have to expert this when it's cheaper. Probably at Christmas time. There we go, there's another one. Easy peasy. <laughs> Just have to watch out for that um, KPZ-70. Okay, do you know what, I'm just going to push up a little bit. So I can have a look at A, see what's around about there. Although, I 
think there may be an enemy tank up here just outside the town itself Yep, there we go. Thought I see a shot come from that way. Okay, let's push down to A. Oh, hang on. Come on, come on, reload, reload. This has got a 9.7 second reload at the moment. I will be obviously planning to get it lower but as I say Christmas time when everything's sort of half price is the best time to do it. If, I mean I'm just over 3 million lines as it stands but I really don't want to piss it all into the wind just on one expert in on of, of a crew. This doesn't seem worth it. Oh no 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 bad Halton bad. Oh crap. Damn! Just as I pulled the trigger as well. Sod's law, it really is Sod's law. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's horns everywhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Holy fuck me in the asshole! Little chief scoring double kill. Oh, I want to see one. Are you two five one? What is that, Leo? There's an ASU 57. <laughs> ASU 57. <laughs> oh, Cheeky up. fucker. To stop people doing that kind of shit, mate, you should give all vehicles the same repair costs. Yeah. Really? Uh, a little bit too high. Lucky you got spawn protection, you little shit. There's another one. Can't see where that goddamn um, RU251 went, though. assist on him. Nice. It's a nice little spot this once you take the time to get up here but it does take its time to get up here. <laughs> oh, that's the end oh. of the game. Jesus, that's quick. Oh no, there's one left it says. Ah, uh, I see him. It's just spawned in in a diesel tiger. One more like that, and that'd be him. There's Kugel Blitz as well. I don't know why they'd bother spawning. It doesn't make sense. There we 
go. One more. Should be another kill. Nope. <laughs> Sailed a bit higher, that one. Oh, my God. There's a fucking Werbel win there as well. Oh, there's Which another one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking hell. Please stop spawning. What are you doing? <laughs> there's still one down there. I'm not going to go down there, though. Fucking hell. That is ridiculous. Yeah, one guy left. He's hiding just below the ridge line. Yeah, we've also got a plane in as well. Ah, oh, he's down in the wearable wind. ME262. Snookle snits. Oh no, he's already dead, he's just crashed then. And we've got one guy dragging it out yet again. <laughs> Bitch. There you go. Yeah. Fuck it, I got a critical hit just as he flew over me. And he couldn't pull out of it. So... He's dead. Good. Serves him right. Shouldn't have spawned back in. That's what you get for being greedy. <laughs> and I've still got all the ERA on this as well. Oh my god, he's come back in. Hang on. Is he down now? He's got to be in a plane, isn't he? No. Yeah, there he is. He's in a plane. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking swing fire's got him with a missile. Fucking hell. That's one thing he's still yet to do. Oh, it's, it's so satisfying shooting down planes with missiles. It's fucking brilliant. There we go. Fucking A. <laughs> Welcome back to the hangar guys. So, as I said at the beginning of the video, the M60A1 Rise and the M60A1 AOS are, for all intensive purposes, exactly the same tank. They suffer from the same flaws and shortcomings. However, with the Rise, you have the ERA which gives you that extra protection. It makes your tank slightly more durable, but as soon as they hit the panels with heat or a missile, anything like that, they explode and they are no longer there. That That's them gone. They are one use and that is it. If you survive the first shot, make sure that you don't get hit for a second time in the same place. Make sure that gun is on target. Now, I will be expert in this, as I said, at Christmas when everything's a little bit cheaper to do. At the moment, it's quite a lot of um, silver to do, so I won't be doing that. But while we're here and I've got your attention still. <laughs> when you do get this experted and aced, you'll be looking at a reload of 8.3 seconds. So it'd be the same as the Chieftain, any of the Chieftains, they're all the same reload because they're all the same gun. So it's a pretty decent tank. It's a fun tank and I'll be looking forward to getting this spaded over the next few weeks or months or however long it takes me because I'm always zipping from one thing to another in this. So guys, if you are new to the channel and you have enjoyed today's gameplay, please do subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do, don't forget to hit the notifications bell for updates on future content. Also, guys, a thumbs up is appreciated. It does help the channel. And don't worry, I have more videos coming pretty soon. I will be picking up the request series again, as well as Sim Sunday. But I do have some more videos coming for you guys. So until next time, guys, I will see you soon and have fun.